Now, meanwhile, new findings from the South Dakota Department of Public Safety show the attorney general was distracted while driving the night he struck and killed Joe Beaver. That was just one of the reports released during a briefing today with lawmakers. Next week, it'll be up to lawmakers to decide if Attorney General Jason Roundsburg committed any impeachable offenses. To help them make up their minds, the South Dakota Department of Public Safety gave an hour-long presentation using pictures, graphics, and video clips to explain what they believe happened the night of September 12th of 2020. One lawmaker asked if they thought Roundsburg was distracted. How do you explain somebody's face coming through your windshield their glasses coming into your car, a significant amount of glass coming inside of the vehicle, that person staying on your vehicle for approximately a second and being that far onto the shoulder, then stopping 600 feet, which is three times the normal stopping distance, other than saying that they were distracted. Investigators say they even recreated the crash at the same time of night using a similar car as Roundsburg's with the same kind of headlights and a man dressed in similar clothing as Joe Beaver was wearing. They concluded that Roundsburg should have seen him. It doesn't matter if Attorney General Roundsburg's lights are on high beam or low beam. You're going to see a person walking on the road at some point with your headlights on. Last week, the House Select Committee voted 6-2 to two not to recommend impeachment, but they never saw this presentation. We had prepared uh, this same exact presentation for the House Select Committee. And uh, when we got there, we were advised that uh, they had read all of our reports and they were going to ask us the questions that they had. And so we weren't allowed to give the presentation uh, or the overview of what our uh, investigation entailed. We were only allowed to answer the questions that they had uh, in regards to Attorney General Roundsburg's crash. And the lawmaker who introduced the original impeachment resolution last year had this to say following today's briefing. When we talked about impeachment that should only be reserved for grave and exceptional circumstances. Uh, this seems to be that when we have the death of one of our citizens, when we have uh, misstatements and untruths made to law enforcement and to the public, I think it merits us looking into. The full House will consider the possible impeachment of the Attorney General next week.